Rico, how did you like your opportunity at Missouri State? Just being able to touch the ball 10, 15 times. Um, I mean, we, uh, obviously it wasn't nothing I think I'd get to do at the co collegiate level. You know, uh, so it was something I did in high school. You know, I always felt comfortable doing it. So, you know, uh, Missouri State was nothing. It's just something I always did. So it was good to get back doing it. You know what I'm saying? John, talk about the defensive improvement. I, I know you gave up a couple of big plays, but other than that, you guys were pretty good, Sam. Yeah, we just uh, we just got to finish. We had them down in the first half. We just got to keep finishing, do what we do. You know, people play. Uh, team teams don't have big plays on you. They don't score. It's just how you how you uh, answer to it. Adversity. Sean, what is it like to have somebody like Demontre Wade, where you guys create the pressure and he's just kind of sitting there waiting, uh, especially with his big day and two interceptions. What's it like to have somebody of that caliber back behind you? I mean, it's nice. I mean, all over the defense, we have that that type of caliber. I mean, I trust in all my teammates on the defense. They're going to do the job and get the job done correctly. And that's the highest potential they have. Rico, when did you figure out? When did they tell you you were going to be the running back? Uh, maybe uh, last Sunday. Sunday, I think that's when it was. What's been the focus after a close game like that? It's 21-21 with about six minutes left. What's been the focus going into this week, knowing that Austin Peay is coming off their first win in a long time? Have you guys talked about anything coming into this week? Uh, not really. We just we let that set in our mouths since Sunday. Sunday we forgot about it and just, we got focused on Austin P this week. I mean, we just got to learn how to finish. That's, that's about it. We got to learn how to finish. We had him down. We just got to keep pushing. Keep pushing. Just finish the job where we have where we started. You know, uh, Governor's piled up tons of rushing yards. I think eight touchdowns and record for uh, the school. Um, what's the key in shutting a team's running game down when you have a team that runs it as well as Lincoln? I mean, we haven't looked at any any of that information yet today. That's what we'll get to. Um, it starts in the inside, D-line, linebackers. That's about it. I mean, we trust our corners and safeties are going to get the job done. In any run game, you're, it's, it's all D-line and in, uh, inside linebackers. That's, how, that's it. We got to stop the run. Sean, the coach told us uh, when he first got here as a head coach, he needed to increase the defensive depth. You guys seem deeper than you've ever been. If you notice that, uh, the depth really helping you be able to do your jobs better. Yeah, we're about two to three deep on the depth chart right now. I mean, it, it helps a lot when uh, offense sustain a long drive and we need new bodies in, fresh bodies that can run around, and not so tired. It really helps out. Rico, I'm gonna, your first play uh, at running back, I don't know if it was uh, what happened, you guys kind of ran into each other. Was that you just trying to settle down? Was that uh, some other mess up? Because from there on, you were stellar. Uh, yeah, like I said, you know, uh, it was my first game ever playing running back. You know, things started a little rocky, but uh, as the game went, I got very comfortable, uh, like you said. So, you know, it's just something I helped to build on, you know, for the continuing the rest of the year. What's the toughest part about adjusting to that new position at this point in the season? Uh, the hits. The hits, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been playing defensive back for a, a, a good minute, so you know what I'm saying? Just taking the hits, you know, get up there, just keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's probably the main the main issue. From an offensive standpoint, Rico, what do you think you bring to this offense? I mean, me watching, you look like you can catch, catch passes out of the backfield, take a shotgun snap, and, and get a couple yards. But what do you think you bring to this offense? Uh, uh, Hopefully experience, you know, um, junior, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, just make plays, you know what I'm saying? I want the ball in my hands. I want to make plays. I want to make my statement in this league, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's where I, that's my attitude going towards it, so. Family weekend, uh, both of you guys address it. That's usually one of the biggest crowds here on campus. If you haven't had a chance to see it, but I'm showing you. You have a big crowd, beautiful weather, and playing at home. That's going to be a pretty good uh, Saturday night. Oh, yeah. It'd be good. You get back home. It's a tough opponent. Each week's gonna be a tough opponent. It's in and out. I mean, just having family there is. You know, you got the extra fire under you. You know, you want to win. You got to get the job done for your family and you know, all your friends that's coming to watch you that weekend. So you guys want to get to watch the horse run around the track this time. Well, that's a, it's always fun to watch, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah.